among the stars I just wanna dance among the stars Okay, so the first color I'm going to go in with is Orange Soda from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. And I'm taking that on my Makeup Shack T68 brush. And I didn't do an intro to this video just because, like, I kind of wanted just to be, like, the very beginning part. But don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I will have everything in the link down below. As well as don't forget to subscribe and to like this video before you guys leave. Anyways, okay, back to the tutorial. Now I'm going to go in with the color Raisin from MAC. This is an actual blush, I think. Um, but I'm just going to take that as my actual transition color just because we're going to kind of layer that on top of the orange soda that we had already placed. And I'm using my Morphe M511 brush. And then I do go in with another like clean brush with nothing on it and just blending those colors together. Okay, so the next color I'm going to go in with is the color Mulberry, and I'm taking that on a Morphe, I don't remember the name of this brush, but I do end up switching that brush, so this isn't like a very important part. You'll see later that I start to switch to another brush, and I start to just pack it onto the crease. And I do go back and forth with all the brushes that I've used, just to kind of blend everything together, just so there is no harsh lines. Okay, so now to smoke out the eye, we're going to take the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pencil and we're just going to line my eyes at first and then I'm going to bring it up towards the lid and then I'm going to take my finger and just smudge all that out. You do have to work really fast with this because it does dry really quickly, but it is super creamy so it's easy to work with either way. So I'm just going to pat that out, working it just on the lid. I'm not going higher than the lid just so it doesn't get too out of control because I tend to do that when I'm doing a smoky eye. So just keep it on the lid. And then I'm going to take the color Mulberry again and then just blend those edges from the black to that Mulberry color that we added into the crease. And I'm just going to blend that all out, kind of patting it onto right where the black ends. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my Tartlet palette, the all matte one, um, and I'm just going to pat that dark color in it just because that's the only black that I've ever noticed is super, super dark and super pigmented, and that color is called Fashionista, and then I'm just going to pat that right where that black is. I'm not going higher than that just because I am going to go in with the color Mulberry, and then I'm just going to mix those two together. I mean blend those two colors together. So here I am taking the Mulberry color and just blending those two harsh edges together. And I do just kind of go back and forth for a little bit, kind of adding more black and adding a little bit more of that mulberry color and trying to blend everything together, trying to get as dark as I can. Um, and yeah, oh, I'm out of breath, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, now going in with my foundation, I did prime my face already um, just because this video was already going to be really, really long. 
So I just did a layer of foundation. I didn't really care if I was gonna get that too much coverage just because I'm gonna go literally over it with like white. So I just did a light layer all over my face. Um, and then I do like highlight and everything. Even though you don't need to do this, I honestly, now that I'm looking back at it, I don't know why I highlighted because that whole area is gonna be covered with white. But anyways, you know, I like to make my life difficult, but you don't necessarily have to do this part, but you know, I'm just, you know, I'm me. Um, yeah, and I still go and set the under eyes with, um, uh, what did I use? I used the airspun. So I do go in and set my under eyes with airspun, and then I do set the rest of my face with the LA Girl HD setting powder yes and I go all over my face with that too okay so I did bronze my face because I had a specific way that I was gonna do this I had like a picture in my mind and in that area I was still gonna need to bronze because that whole like jawbone or that where you where you contour it was still gonna be noticeable so I kind of wanted my face to be like slimmed for that but later on you'll see that I ended up erasing all that so this isn't necessarily necessary what am I saying you don't have to do this if you don't want to okay anyways back to the video so now I go ahead and take a white eye pencil and just to kind of map out that little area of the underneath my eyes just because I was barely starting so I didn't know exactly how I wanted it to look so in case I mess up I could just kind of go over it so just kind of mapping out the area that I'm gonna draw so I started first creating a small line going parallel to my nose starting from the very corner of my eye the center of my eye um, the center of my the inner corner of my eye I created a small line and then as soon as that line ended I went ahead and curved it all the way towards the center of my cheek and then it's creating, once like you connect both sides, it looks almost like an upside down castle. And it doesn't have to be perfect just because I do go in with all the white in the center of it. So you can kind of fix it as you go with the big white area once you fill it in. So yeah, it's easier if you guys just kind of watch what I'm doing just because I'm re I really suck at explaining what I do. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is where like I started to kind of mess up, but you know, it all turned out fine in the end kind of, but okay. So I did go in with Krylon's Professional Makeup Grease Paint. This is a grease base paint, so it doesn't necessarily dry. You kind of have to set it with a powder on top of it. Um, so I did have to go in with a white eyeshadow from the Morphe 35B palette to set all that white that I'm doing right now. So something that I would recommend and I later learned on into the video to go in with a water-based paint. Um, one that I started to use later on was the Ben Nye Aqua paint palette. Just because when that white sets and it dries, it dries matte. So you can go over it with anything else. You can go on it with an eyeliner, um, an eyeshadow, and it doesn't move. Um, as opposed to having to set every single time you want to go in with another color on top of it You have to set the grease paint before just because then it starts to mix it Like they start to kind of blend together just because they don't dry um, So definitely go in with a water-based paint before or at all like just just go with the water-based paint Don't go with the grease paint because you didn't have to do like a lot more work You're gonna have to set everything before you go on top of that grease paint that you had already put down if I just made any sense, if not, ignore what I just said, okay? <laughs> Okay, so now to do the top part of my eye, um, I kind of just do three little dots at first, or three little lines to kind of just measure where, or how I want it to look, how big I want it to look. 
So I started off at like a half an inch into my brow and the arch of my brow. And then I kind of went to the center of my forehead on the middle of those two lines. And then I go ahead and fill everything in. And then I do have to go back in there and set everything as well. Okay, now to kind of shade everything, I'm going to go in back into my Tartlet palette and I'm going to go into the color Wander in a kind of fluffy, flat shader brush. Um, I'm going to go all around the edges of everything I did and shade everything together. And then I'm going to go in with a darker color later on. Um, and you'll kind of see what I'm doing. I'll kind of fast forward through everything right now. Okay, now going in with more of like a stiffer, a stiffer brush and it's smaller. I'm going to go in with the color Dreamer and I'm just going to go a little closer to the white part so I don't bring it as far as I did with the color Wander. So I'm just going to go in and shade all over once again. And then I do kind of go back and forth with that old brush, the one that I used for Wander and kind of just blend everything together just so there's like no harsh lines. This part kind of took a little while, so <laughs> yeah, I start dancing. But anyways, it took a little while, so I just start to like fast forward everything just so it's a little easier for you guys. Just so you're not sitting here for like 40 minutes watching me shade my face over and over again. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm taking that black color Fashionista from that same palette and I'm just gonna go first with an eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna go right along the edges of this. It doesn't have to be neat just because I do go and end up going with a liner and kind of outlining everything. So I'm just gonna shade everything, keeping it really close to the white edges um, and then going back and forth with those little flat brushes and shading everything together. Now going back into that MAC blush color, Raisin, I'm going to apply that all underneath my eyes, kind of shading it pretty far down just because I'm going to put black there anyway. So it has to be pretty thick of a red underneath. Yeah, I start to look a little crazy. Anyways, okay, so I'm just applying that all down underneath my eyes. Um, I do go ahead and line my eyes with that same Pixie 
liner at first and then I go in with the color Mulberry from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and then I go ahead and take a, what is this, the Tarte liquid liner. This is the man eater one just because it's super thin. So I draw a line directly down from my from the center of my eye and I do that on both eyes on the top and the bottom. Also I'm sorry that you guys can't even see my face right now. Like I'm not even in frame but I'm sorry. I, I it gets better, I promise. I do go back in with the Cryolin, cryo, how do you say that? Cryolin? Cryolin? Cryolin. Whatever. Okay, I go in with the Cryolin grease paint again, and I'm just making those lines underneath my eye a little bit thicker, and I do that to the same on the top as well. Um, like I said, don't use these grease paints because you have to set them. I definitely recommend more of a water-based paint. Okay, so now to kind of shade in those little lines that I did, I go in with my Tartlet palette. Um, and then I just go in with the same colors, Wander, Dreamer, and then I start to shade and everything kind of creating like a smoky effect. And then I do go in with that black color Fashionista and kind of outline those little lines once more just to create them a little bit more darker. And now I go in with that same uh, liquid liner from Tarte. This one's the Man Eater one again. And I just outline, outline? Uh huh. I outline everything. I outline everything. Okay, so this is where I said that I messed up because I had a vision in my head how I wanted this to look and it just wasn't working. So I went ahead and erased everything that I did. So this is where I was saying that your contour or your bronzer doesn't even matter because you're gonna go over that anyways. So I just took a makeup wipe and removed everything that I did. I left a line starting from the corner of my mouth and going straight to the corner of my ear. Um, but I started to do these little swoops to kind of fix what I had done and it kind of worked out. So yeah, I just create like these little waves. I just created two going towards the center of my face and then I kind of rounded it out around my jawline and then you kind of see me doing one more swoop right underneath my jaw as well and then kind of creating it towards the center of my chin. I do end up kind of erasing a little part right on my chin, but you'll see that later on. And then I just go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and then fill everything in. Then I just go on top of all that with a white eyeshadow. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect just because you kind of have to outline that or shade everything in later on. Um, this is what I was saying that it just takes a really long time with this grease paint. Um, you just kind of have to set everything in this, especially because this is such a big area. It's basically the whole bottom of your face, so it's going to take you a while. But anyways, okay, so then I'm going back in with the same Tartlet palette and going in with the same three colors, Wanderer, Dreamer, and Fashionista. And I'm just going to create 
the shading effect all around my face and then this is where i was talking about like the whole chin area i did go ahead and carve out or like erase a little part in there um and i do go in with like foundation later on just to kind of clean all that up and i do shade it in with the same three colors that i'm doing right now so I just went in with the color Wander and shaded all around my face with that one at first. And then I'm going to go in with the color Dreamer and then do the same thing all around my face with that as well. Now going in with the color of Fashionista from that same Charlotte palette. Palette? Mm-hmm. I can't talk today. I just, you know, it's fine. All right. Well, I'm going to go in with that black color and shade all on top of that as well. Okay, so this is where I went in with the Bed Nye Aqua Paint Palette on top of everything just because I wanted more of a crisper line. And then this just seems to be way more of a bright white color. Um, so I just went in with that and kind of cleaned up all the edges and yeah, just create something a little bit nicer, kind of cleaned up. Um, and then I went in with this is, what is this? This is the Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick in true brown k and then i just did that with my lips this one doesn't have to be perfect either just because we're going to go in with the color fashionista from the tartlet palette and just um shade in all around my mouth and then kind of shade in towards the outer edges as well Okay, so now taking those same three colors from the Tartlet palette, Wanderer, Dreamer, and Fashionista, I'm going to first go in with Wanderer and kind of smoke it all on the top of my nose and blend it out with like a fluffy brush just because I don't want it to be so compact. And then I go in with the color Dreamer on top of that um, and just create a little bit more depth. And then I go in with the with an eyeliner. I'm not sure if I used the Pixie one again or uh, the NYX one, but I used an eyeliner and then just created like a circle. Um, oh no, this is the NYX one. And then um, I patted it out with my finger and went, went on top of that with Fashionista, that dark black color, and then just kind of faded it out and then created like two little lines with the Ben Nye Aqua Paint palette. For the night like it is golden Get a kingdom when I'm never folding I just wanna dance among the stars These after hours got me charged out.